Good morning. This is Miss Grace, and this is the third task that we have today uh, on day 30 of the remote learning packet. And today we are writing a thank you note. This is actually a really helpful thing to know. Um, when someone gives you a special gift, it could be for your birthday, it could be for a holiday, it could be for anything. Or sometimes people like your grandparents are just great about giving you gifts. All right. It is polite to write a thank you note. Sometimes people write thank you notes in a card, but they can also be written on paper. As long as you get somebody the thank you note, they're not going to complain if it's on a card or paper, as long as you do the thank you note. Uh, you, you do this after weddings a lot. You know, that'll be one of the big tasks after a wedding or a baby shower. You um, have to sit down and write all the thank you notes. All right, so let's look at the structure of a thank you note. This is very short, very straightforward. Okay, so your date, goes up here in this right hand corner as you can see okay right hand corner right there the greeting is dear grandma smith in this case okay so it's dear whoever gave you the gift and then that comma look at that you indent usually you're right under this letter see how they did that thank you very much for the skateboard you sent for my birthday here you're t saying what you gave so that you know that you can match up the gift with the person. I have been writing it on the sidewalk in front of the house. So this is how you're using that gift, which is a nice touch when you're writing a thank you note. I even learned how to do a few tricks and you expanded on it a little bit. You gave it a little bit more detail, basically saying how much you're enjoying the gift. Okay. This is your closing. Notice this is pretty much in the center of that paper. And then your signature. Now here it's not a signature, it's just printed out. Okay, so this is the basic structure of a thank you note. It's only three sentences. This is not hard. You name what was given, uh, how you're using it, and then you give a little bit about how you're enjoying it. Okay, so you understand how those three sentences work? All right, and then like I said, your uh, closing and your signature go right here. Now, if you're not close with the person, you don't have to say love. You can say fondly or sincerely or with great affection. There's a bunch of different closings you can use here. You don't have to use love if you're uncomfortable with it. All right. Imagine your Aunt Monica gave you a $20 gift card for your birthday. Write a thank you note for her. Be sure to include the date, greeting, body, closing, and signature. All right, so what you have in front of you is a blank. And so let's take a look. Here's the date. It goes over on this right-hand side. It's May something. To, today's the 5th, but when you're doing this, 2020. You do have to write everything out. Abbreviations are not appropriate here. Then you say, Dear Aunt Monica, because that was the task. Aunt Monica gave you the gift card. Now see how I'm putting the T right under that A? That's how I line that up. Thank you for the gift card. See, I'm naming what it is. I plan to buy whom you have to fill that in with it. The other thing you have to fill in is this how you're enjoying it. Okay, so give some idea about how you are enjoying this gift that you're doing up here. So that's going to be all down in here. Your Closing can be love, can be sincerely, affectionately, with affection, uh, depends on you know, the, your relationship with the person. But it's your aunt, so you're probably going to use love. And then you sign it, okay? And you use your best handwriting, by the way. All right, so here you go. This is the basic structure of a thank you note. It's really easy. And you know what? This is something you're going to use forever. So this is really helpful. All right. Good luck with this, guys. It's actually kind of fun.